guys, welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. So excited to be doing Vlogmas this year. So on today's agenda, this is very important that we do this on the first day, is making an advent calendar for the kids. When I was growing up, my mom always made an advent calendar. It wasn't like this type, it was a different type. She used like matchboxes and then put chocolates in the matchboxes and wrapped them with Christmas wrapping. But I'm gonna be making a fabric one. Um, so I have here, what we will need is four different types of fabric. I've got a plain white, a gray, a red, and a checkered. Then I have some white felt sheets. I'm gonna be using these to make the numbers, like the day numbers. And then a cord, some cord. You'll also need some sort of wooden stick to hold it up. I got this at the $2 store. I'm still kind of working out what I'm gonna do for sure. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna take a square or rectangle, whatever shape that you're making. You can also make Christmas stocking shapes. I think that would be cute. Anyways, let's go easy this time. So I'm gonna make squares. I'm going to outline where this goes with my pen and um, do that for however much space I need. That way I know where my pockets are gonna go and they're evenly spaced. All right, probably hard for you to see, but here we have 24 sets of markings. So every Marking fits one piece of inner, one center thing. Now the next thing to do is cut out all of the squares. So I'm gonna do alternating patterns. I'm gonna do like red, um, gingham, gray, red, gingham, gray, red, gingham, gray, etc., etc. Now let's just stick to the original plan. Although well, we've already diverted a lot from the original plan. Okay, so I brought a lot of fabric, wow. Well. <laughs> no wonder this is expensive. Okay, so if I do one for each, 24 divided by three, let's do the maths because I can't. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, it's eight. So we're gonna need eight of each. So let's do this. Um, I'm gonna cut them a little bit bigger than what the card is because I want them to cover the markings that I just did. So yeah, let's cut them out, but we'll cut them a little bit bigger than what we planned, also because we're gonna have to turn the edges over to make a seam. Also, you can do this by gluing it, I'm sure. I just prefer to sew. If you have a sewing machine and you know how to sew, then just sew it, it's gonna be so much nicer. So don't be silly like me. The best way to do this is to fold the fabric three times. That way the folded layers make eight individual pieces when you cut them up. Okay, so as mentioned, I cut all these bigger than what they're gonna be. So just to lay it out so you guys can get a feel of it. Like this, these are all gonna be pockets, so we're gonna have numbers on it, and maybe I'll put something up the top here, I'm not sure. So far, so good. It's time to start sewing these on. So I decided to make um, a top for the pocket, just, I don't know, I feel like it look a little bit cuter, so I just am sewing a piece of material onto the very top. And this is gonna be the first pocket that we're putting on. Yay! It's pretty late now, so if you notice, my voice is starting to get a little bit rough. This is getting pretty late. First row is done, guys. This takes so long. What time is it? 1 a.m. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. now. I really don't. I have 24 to do, and I have to put the numbers on. All right, people. Day two. Let's get cracking. We've got a Christmas movie. We're cooking some ramen up there. Remy is asleep. I gotta finish this. I know it's looking a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie. My sewing is not the best. I feel like this one was all right, but, oh, this one was good. Okay, yeah, this one was good. I have learned to sew closer to the edge. Do not sew far away, although it's gonna look like this. So yeah, sew closer. All right, so it took me a few hours. All of the patches are sewn on now. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the numbers. So I think I'm gonna do like a number and then maybe like a Christmas tree and then a number and then like a snowman or, you know, I'll kind of uh, switch it up, make it a little bit interesting. So 
so I'm just drawing them, cutting them out, just using the same stencil to draw them again, again, again. And so this is felt on this side, but it's got sticky stuff on the back. myself doing this part um, but I did this a few days later because I was running out of time so essentially all I did after this was sew the front and the back piece of it together so let's say this was the front of the advent calendar and this was the back of the advent calendar I put them together with all the numbers facing up so let's say the numbers would be on this side facing up and this would just be blank I then sewed these two sheets together around the corner and I left the top of it open. After that, I folded the open edges inward, somewhat like that. And then I slid in another piece of fabric that I could loop around and therefore I could put the little pole in there. Hopefully that makes sense. So sorry I didn't film it. This is the back of it. So like I said, there's two, it's double lined so you won't see any of the front seams on the back as well. All right, so this is my final result. I used the wrong string on the top, so that looks a bit janky, but um, I can change it back to the original string. I think it looks cute. It's definitely not perfect. Like, um, it's very uneven. Actually, my sewing is very bad on the first layer. It gets better as we go down, but yeah. Not the best, not professional, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because it shows a mother's love for her children, does it not? I think it's super cute. And I wish I didn't use the gray though. I wish I had a different color other than the gray. I don't really like the gray. Next time I'll probably get some more festive fabrics. But I can't wait to do this again another year and improve on what I did this year. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.